All right, Jaguars. This time we're going to look at looking at um, or, or this time we're going to be looking at division. And when we're doing our division, we're going to look at what happens when we encounter a zero. Normally, what I mean by encountering a zero, it's when we start to divide and we realize we can't do that division. In this case, if we take a look here, we're looking at 157 divided by 3. And we're going to be starting with our hundreds place. In the hundreds place, we only have one 100. So we are not able to put that in, into groups of three. What we can do is we can convert this hundred into 10 tens. Remember, in the last video, we talked about how we can convert some of these units. We can make 110 into 10 ones. We can make 1,000 into 10 hundreds. And we can also make 100 into 10 tens. So in this case, I'm going to turn this 100 into 10 tens. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then still make those groups of 3. So that's 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5. So by doing this, I was able to make a total of 5 groups. Oh, sorry. Five groups of um, three when looking at the tens. And then when we look at the sevens, I can make one group of three, two groups of three, and then there's one remainder. So I can make two groups and then have one remainder. In the end, I see my answer is 52 with a remainder of one because there's this one right there. Okay. Okay. If I'm going to do it through long division, I'm going to set up my number where I have my community pile here in the middle, 157 divided by 3. And just like before, go one number at a time. I can't make a group of 3 from 1, so I'm going to move over and check out 15. Just like when I converted this 110 into 10, or 100 into 10 tens. And then I added to the five tens here, I had 15 tens. This time I'm looking at 15 here and divide that into groups of three. I know if I count by threes, I can get 15 by counting to five or counting by five times. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. So I can make five groups of three. And when I subtract that, I will no longer have any tens um, because they're all in groups of three. So I'll have a remainder of zero. Now I bring down my 7. And notice how right here I just had 7 dots. I had nothing extra. So now with my 7 dots or my 7, if I need to take groups of 3 away from that, I know if I count by 3 twice, it goes 3, 6. Next one is 7, so that means I can't add any more. So I can go 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. And I'll have 1 remaining right after that. And that's what it's like to, um, if you encounter a zero in the beginning of your problem. Now, what happens if you have a zero in the middle of the problem? So let's take this number. Let's go with 2,162 divided by 2. Okay. If we're going to, actually, let's just look with three. I like dividing them by three. Okay. If we're going to set up our chart, here I know there's going to be thousands. So I'm going to set it up with four. There's one, tens, ugh, hundreds, and thousands. I have two thousands. I have one hundred. I have six tens. and then two ones. Okay, so then now, I know that I need to make groups of three because I'm dividing by three. Well, if I take a look here in my thousands, I can only make two, I can't make a group of three, so I need to change these two thousands into 20 hundreds because remember, each dot 
from a higher value, it will be 10 of the lower value, okay? So I need to make 20 of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And again. And then now I can make my groups of three. So here's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there, I just made seven groups of three. So I know that my answer there is going to be seven for, I made seven uh, groups for uh, my hundreds. Now I'm going to move on to my tens. And I'm going to make those groups of three again. I have no remainders here in my hundred, so I don't need to convert anything. So I'm just going to go one. There's two groups there for my tens. So I made two groups of tens. And for my ones, I only see one, two. Okay, I cannot make any extras there. So that would be a zero. I can make zero groups there which means now my remainder is going to be two, okay? I couldn't make them into any groups, but there's no more lower group for me to convert it into. Therefore, it is a remainder. Let's check if this will match up if I do my problem through long division. I'm going to have 2,162, and then we're going to divide it by three. I know that I can't divide two into groups of three, so like before, like what we did up here, we're going to move over 1. And now we're going to have 21 divided by 3. And if we look here, there's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 hundreds here. We're still doing 21. So 21 divided by 3. If I count by 3, I know I can get 7 groups. Because 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So I can subtract 21 from here. 21 minus 21 equals 0. Now I move over to my 10s. I bring down my 6. And I'm going to divide. How many times can I divide 6 into 3? I can count by 3 twice. 3, 6. To get to the 6. So that means I can make 2 times. 2 times 3 equals 6. I subtract that. I get 0. Okay. Now I need to bring down my... Last number, I need to bring down my 2. Now, can I count by 3 and still get to 2? The answer is no. I can make 0 groups of 3 from 2. So I need to make sure I write down that 0 every time there's still 0 groups. Now that there's no more numbers to bring down, my answer will have a remainder of 2. So I have two, 720 with a remainder of 2, just like I have here. With my unit placement chart, 720 with the remainder of 2. Okay? So now would be a good time for you to just kind of either rewind and you can repeat these videos. Or you can repeat this video to remember what to do if you ever encounter a zero. Or you can practice with some of these problems. Okay? Remember, when there, you have more numbers... You're just repeating the process until you can until you have no more numbers to bring down. Okay, so these are some exam or these are some um, practice problems for you to try. And remember, you can always bring these into the classroom, or you can have someone at home check your work. Okay, so practice number one. Let's go with two hundred seventy six divided by four. Number two, let's go with, uh, let's go with 312 divided by three. And then your third problem, we're gonna go with 4,100 56 divided by 
four. Let's see how these problems treat you, okay? Remember, you have two main ways to solve your division problem. It's up to you to describe or to try it and solve it um, using these tools that I gave. Now, if these tools aren't working for you and you really don't understand them, please make sure you let me know or try and ask somebody around you to teach you how they know how to do division. And you can just include that into your toolbox and bring it in when we um, assess ourselves on division again. Okay, so I hope these two couple videos helped out with your division review. If you need another situation or you don't know what to do when something else comes up, please send me an email um, asking what to do and if whatever happens, so you state whatever the situation is. And I'll try to make the video over the weekend to share with you about how to solve these division problems with whatever scenarios you come up with, okay? Remember, the more numbers, it's just repeating the same pattern until you're done. All right? Well, take it easy. Hope this helps out. And have a great weekend. Bye.